Hello, YouTube. I'm David with the David West Channel. Well, here's a yucca leaf that I harvested about three days ago. And when I harvested it, it was very juicy, vibrant, and green. But it's been sitting in the car all that time. And now I'm ready to use it. I want to use it for fire roll. And usually I use a tablespoon to extract the fibers. Let's just use the back of the mower, the spine of the mower. It's good and sharp. It's going to be a little bit more aggravating because uh, when you try to scrape away this pulp, you don't need something sharp like that spine is. You actually need something, you know, more like the tablespoon that I usually use. But I want to, I want to see how good a job I can make that mower do. And we'll use all these good old tulip poplar ashes that we made yesterday in yesterday's video. Look at all that good white ash. That's always good for fire roll. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'll put you on time lapse. This is going to take a little while to extricate those fibers. All right, let's take and separate them out. That worked really good for me the last time we did, we did this. I'll put that video right here. That's uh, three, way to, three ways to use wood ashes to help make fire. Um, and I took fiber by fiber and just separated everything out, which allowed it to dry more. And that was the easiest yucca fire roll that I ever had. So we're gonna stick with that process. Separate out all the fibers. Somebody commented and said, you think yucca cordage would be strong enough to fish with? And I, I wrote them back and said, you know, I've been wanting to do that video forever. And kind of three days ago when I harvested this yucca leaf that's kind of what i had in mind go to walmart get my fishing license go find a spot good enough to where nobody would be bothering me and maybe cut a sapling because there's not going to be any cane poles or bamboo down by the area where i thought about the part of the river where i thought about fishing i know you could catch brim all day long on a liter of this if you uh, reverse wrap this, I mean, you just need an 18 inch leader, but um, which this would be plenty. This would be plenty of fiber for 18 inch, as small as fishing line would be to reverse wrap it. But then I said, nah, I don't think I'll do it. That would really take a lot of time to make that video. But someday if I'm going fishing anyways, that might be when I go ahead and make that one. This yucca fiber is so strong. All right. Let's lay it out and just let it sort of air dry just a little bit, just a few minutes while I get set up. Let's go ahead and make some, uh, let's see what our poplar ashes look like. And 
And I try to get all of this charcoal out. I don't think that charcoal helps the, the process of fire rolling at all. It's actually the white ash, the chemicals that are in the white ash, which is what they make lye soap out of. I think that's the chemical that's reacting. And I think it's the fiction, friction. You know, ashes are coarse, are kind of just the finest grit that you can think of. So let's go ahead and spread some out on the board here. That's gonna be a good way to get rid of some of the, get rid of some of the charcoal. Usually I run these through a strainer. You've seen me collect ashes before. Like I've told you before, when you put ashes in a coarse fiber like this, they want to sift all the way through it and end up on the bottom. So you have to make sure that you get enough ash in these yucca fibers. And that's going to be too much fiber, so let's take just a little bit out of there. We'll take that much out. pretty dry. That's going to be helpful. Let me make sure that camera's pointed in the right direction. And here's some of those pine needles that we gathered the other day. Let's go ahead and process them. Boy, they really dried out because now they're processing up to just crumbles. When they still had moisture in them, I was buffing them and buffing them and buffing them and they wouldn't break down because they were so flexible. All right, we'll use it like this. Two piles, we'll put it together. Roll a little bit up in there. Roll a little bit more up in there until I feel like enough is in there. Enough has stayed up in the middle. It's tight enough. Let's go for it now. I think last time I did about 30 or 40 rolls to get ignition. Let's see what it takes this time. Man, 
I could smell it too. <laughs> you know you're at a David West video when you see uh, captivating uh, action like this. Where did it go? Blends right in with all of this leaf litter down here. Here it is. And you want to keep rolling until you see smoke. It's going to break off of that, but we're up over the table. And that's too hot to hold. Let's go ahead and try it. There you go. Yucca Faro, tulip poplar ashes, and fibers extracted with the uh, spine of my Mora companion, stainless steel. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.